Example 3.10 or 4.10 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, the gauge pressure of an automobile tire is measured to be 210 kilopascals before the trip and 220 kilopascals after the trip at a location where the atmospheric pressure is equal to 95 kilopascals. Assuming the volume of the tire to remain constant and that the air temperature before the trip is 25 Celsius, the task is to determine the air temperature in the tire after the trip. We're going to treat air as an ideal gas, therefore we're going to use ideal gas law. We have P, V, MRT, and then we find that they, we're assuming that the value of the volume is constant as well as the mass, therefore the specific volume will be constant. That means that the relationship will provide us that P1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 divided by T2. If this is the case, then we substitute the values. Notice that for ideal gas law, all the values must be in absolute uh, values. Therefore, we have P1, which is originally 210 kilopascals. We add the atmospheric pressure, which is 95 kilopascals, to give us a value of 305 kilopascals. Then we do the same process for P2. In this case, we have 220 kilopascals. And we add, once again, the atmospheric pressure. And this gives us 315 kilopascals. We do the same process for the temperature, which in this case is equal to 25 Celsius. And we add 273 to make it into Kelvin. And this value is going to give us 298 Kelvin. We substitute these three values into here and we solve for T2. And once we do that, we find that the value of the temperature is equal to 307.77 Kelvin or 34.77 Celsius.